Hey everybody and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams, this is the Arsenal's Knows Andrew speaking and it's time for some more scam calls. It's currently 3.15 in the morning and I'm committed to doing a daily show, a daily video, and you know what happens when you're really really tired and you're exhausted and you just want to go to bed? You string a whole bunch of videos together and you do a day in the life. That's it, that's the easiest thing to do, so that's what I'm doing here. Eureka, Bob's your uncle. Boom, it's done. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm going to bed. Hey, good morning. My name is John. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Well, I'm calling on behalf of Deliver XD Pharmacy. The reason of my call is to let you know that we are an independent pharmacy that offers free medication delivery to your doorstep. So we deliver prescriptions and medication to patients that live in your area. So how many medication are you taking? I'm going to ask you one question, and normally when I ask it, yes. you people hang up on me. So let's see if we can get beyond that. How did you get my uh, name and number to call me in the first place, sir? There you go. I, I don't know why they won't even try to communicate. Maybe they freak out with, with that question. I, I don't know. But it's a very simple one. Who gave you my name and number? Was it my doctor? Was it my insurance company? Was it the state of Florida? All you got to do is say something. I guess not. They'll call back. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, hey, this is Amy with American Senior Citizens Care. How are you doing today? Okay. This call is about a new state-regulated final expense insurance plan, which covers 100% of your burial, funeral, or cremation expenses. It is specifically designed for the people on fixed income or social security. Would you like to learn more about it? Yes. To qualify you for the plan, are you between the age of 40 and 80? Yes. I can bring my product specialist on the line and he can give you more information about it, okay? Okay. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and try again. Goodbye. Color me shocked. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Well, this is about Medicare, okay? Okay. So, how old are you? 68. Okay. So, let me tell you, sir, the reason for my call is to let you know the rates on Medicare insurance has been dropped down. So, I believe you have Medicare Part in B. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, and if you have Medicare Part in B, sir, so you may qualify to get some dental, vision, eye glasses over the counter benefit, food card, flex card. So what is most important to you, sir? I, I'm sorry, could you repeat that again, that list? Sure, sure. Like dental work, vision, eyeglasses, over the counter benefit, food card, flex card, prescription drugs. So which thing is most important to you, sir? What exactly is vision? Vision? Vision is your eyes check up. Oh, you mean vision? Oh, okay. You said vision. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. No, no. Yeah. I vision, sir. Eyeglasses, vision coverage. And and you said you work for Medicare. Is that right? No, sir. No. Who do you I work like, for? I am. I am only verifier. Okay. My job is only verifier information and transfer this call to my licensed agent. Okay. Okay. Well, that still doesn't answer the question. Who do you work for? I am work for senior benefits, sir. Senior benefits? Oh, okay. I've heard of them before. Yes, yeah, don't they usually do final uh, expense insurance or funeral expense insurance? One of those? Yes, sir. We also work with life insurance. Oh, so you're switching up the script today, huh? Okay. Yes, sir. Were I you going to ask another... Right What's that? I'm sorry? So what can I do for you, sir? Oh, I don't know. What can you do for me? You obviously have all the answers, my right? Time. I'm wasting You're only your wasting time. wasting my time, I know. Yeah. I'm wasting your time. That's horrible. If they're going to keep calling, I'm going to keep wasting their time, so. Very good morning. Yes. Hello. Very good morning, sir. So this is Jerry Brown. Am I talking to Mr. Andrew? Yes, this is he. Yeah, Andrew said there is an a pre-authorized purchase by your name, which cost one thousand five hundred and ninety-nine dollars, and the money will deduct from a bank account after the delivery, and it's a fraudulent order, I believe so. What? 
Hello? Yes, what are you calling about? Sorry? Jerry, what are you calling about? Sir, there is an fraudulent order which was placed under your name of yeah. one MacBook Pro and Airbus, which cost $1,599, and the money will deduct from a bank account after the delivery. You're saying that somebody ordered a MacBook Pro for $1,599? On what account? Yes. What account are you calling about? Sir, sir, like from Amazon we are talking. Oh, from Amazon? An order which was placed under... Yeah. You know, we're a minute into this call, and you just for now mention Amazon. It shows up. Okay. Well, what can we do about this? Because that wasn't my order. Yes, I believe so. So, like, as I told you, it's a fraudulent order. So, we have to investigate on that. So, just, very, just, just verify me your zip code for the security purpose, so I can run a security check in my system. Wait a minute. How did you know it was a fraudulent order till you talked to me about it? Sir, because I got an email from the technical team of Amazon you got about a, this fraudulent order. You got an email from the technical team of Amazon. What company do you work for? Do you work for Amazon? Yeah, sir, I work for Amazon. Yeah, what department do you work in? Sorry? Oh, my good God. Jerry, what department do you work in? I work in the investigation department and my patch number is AM16774. Yeah. Do people usually believe you when you they call when you call them and tell them this bull crap? I mean really. Yes, yeah, sir. They do? Yeah, really. Yeah, you yeah. you really try to take advantage of people, don't you? Oh, I guess I guess he wasn't real. I guess there was no way this was a real charge cuz he didn't want to defend that. I'm sorry. This guy was so stupid. I knew what they were doing. I didn't even want to play with them. Sometimes people are so dumb, you just cannot handle it. Jerry Brown. Michael from Prime Medical. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. All right. Actually, I'm calling you just to confirm that are you still having pain in your lower back and in your knees due to arthritis? Yes. All right. And have you ever received any braces for that covered by Medicare? No, I haven't. Okay, so you will qualify to receive the braces. And can I have your first and last name? Well, what name? What? Who are you looking for? Guess they have no idea. Yeah, my name is Jessica. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. Uh, sir, actually we are running promotional offer on solar panel and I'm calling you with Florida State Solar and uh, we are running a promotional offer. So may I talk to the homeowner? Yes, yes you are. Uh, that's so good, sir. Uh, sir, have you ever used solar panel in your home? Yes, I've actually had solar panels for very many, for, for many years. Uh, okay, sir. So, do you want to add up more panels in your panel system? No, honestly, I'd rather you come and take them away. They haven't helped at all. I don't know why you guys are promoting them. They don't work. Why, sir? Did I hesitate in what I said? I said I've had them for years. Okay. They don't work, and if you'd like to come get them, feel free. Okay, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Are you going to come get them? Sir, actually, we are running promotional offer. You already told me you already have solar panels. So I just said, do you want to add a more panel? So all you're confirming for me is un you understand English. You understand what I said. I'm asking you if you're yes, going to come yes, get sir. my solar panels. Huh? Yes, sir. You are? When yes, When sir. should I expect sir, you? Sir, we, sir, if you already have solar panels, so I just ask you, we used to add, if you already have, then we will add more panels. I don't want more panels. I want you to come and get the ones that are already installed. So when can I expect you to come get them? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry for disturbing you. Have a good day. You didn't answer my question. When are you going to come get them? Sir, we, we, no, no, sir. I'm not coming to get, get the solar panel. Why not? We just give solar panel, yeah, sir. Thank you, you, you sir. Give, you, give, you give them away, but you don't collect them, huh? 
me ask but you. Let me ask you another question. Solar panel. Let me ask you another question. Are you going to call me in a day or two and ask me if I need solar panels again? Because you guys do it all the time. So much so that I love screwing with you. But this is my first call. I didn't call you already. Yeah, I know, but your this company calls call. all the time. They call all the time and waste my time. So what do I do? I waste your time. Oh. Got it? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. No problem. Talk to you next time you call. Bye-bye. Bye. She didn't get I was joking. But that's okay. They will call back. They will keep calling back. And I love it. Thank you for your patience. Please hold while we transfer your call. Calling. We're currently experiencing high call volume, or you have reached us after normal business hours. Please leave your name, phone number, and reason for calling, and we will call you back. Frickin' A, I didn't call you. Somebody called me and transferred me. I still have no idea why. I don't even know who I'm calling or who they're calling. They never said. What a waste of time. You guys are pieces of crap. Having some other third party do calls for you. Calling people on the national do not call list. You're disgusting. You know that? Despicable. Yeah, but you probably already knew that. I don't even know who I'm talking to. I don't even know what company this is. Well, whoever you are, you're disgusting. Black-hearted pieces of crap. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, well. Kevin on our quarter nine. How are you doing today, Mr. William? Oh, very good. Thank you. That's wonderful. So, Mr. Williams, my name is Kevin, and I am the uh, licensed state advisor for the state of uh, Florida. And today we are dealing with Jacksonville. That's why you received the call for, uh, and we are going to talk about annual expense life insurance. Okay. What company do you work for? Uh, sir, I am working for a company called Senior State Benefits. Senior State Benefits? Okay. Yes, sir. And unlike uh, those conventional insurance agents who are working for specific companies, we are authorized to show you the best carriers and the lowest rates available on the marketplace. So we can both choose together which company will be the best fit for you. And I'm sure this will save you the headache of uh, doing all the research work yourself. So and that's what we're trying to do. Just a quick yeah. question. If I decline the service, are you going to continue to call me every day? Because I already get no, sir, five to ten all. of these calls not a day. So, I mean, I mess with you guys every single time you call, but you keep calling back. So, I mean, you must like it. You must like the abuse. In other words, they'll call back. <laughs> I'm sorry. They make it too easy. Yes, hello? Uh, hi, myself John from that from National Data. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. What can I help you with? Uh, hi, hi, sir. Myself John from National Debt Relief Center. In this program, you can eliminate your debt faster without taking any other loan. So, may I know how much do you owe in your credit card debt? About twelve thousand. Okay. About twelve thousand. Uh huh. So, ma'am. Uh, so, sir, what's your zip code? What? I am asking you, what's your zip code? My zip code. It's three two two zero two. Okay. So, sir, are you working or retired? I mean, uh, do you have a source of income? Retired. Retired. Okay. So. Sir, I am new in this job. I have my senior supervisor here. He will assist you further and providing more details about this debt resolution. Okay? Stay with me. Okay. Uh, hi, sir. Myself, Antonio. I'm from Debt Relief Center. How are you today? Not too bad. Uh, God bless you with good health. Uh, sir, uh, you are talking to one of my associates. Uh, he is new on this job, so really want to make sure he has not made any mistake and you're good to go. So he has mentioned over here that you have more than 10,000 credit card debt, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and you're from, uh, uh, you're from Florida, 
with a zip code 32202, correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, sir. Uh, so basically the idea is to settle your debts with your creditor without giving you any of the loan and you may be able to pay less than how much you're paying right now with very affordable minimum monthly payment. For that reason, I do have my debt officer on the same line from your area and they're going to ask you two, three questions and provide you all the information in detail, like how it's going to work for you. And sure, I forgot to ask you, how do you pronounce your last name? Williams. Oh, Williams. Okay, Mr. Williams, what's your first name? Timothy. Uh, Timothy Williams. Okay, mm -hmm. got sir. Uh, so right now, I'm going to connect your call with my debt officer. But before that, for the quality and training purposes, uh, this call is being recorded. And you will be contacted with my debt officer, despite your number is on any federal state do not call list. And do remember, your consent is not required as a condition to purchase anything, which means there is no cost and no obligation, okay? Now, how exactly did you get my number in the first place? I, I got your number from uh, marketing, sir. From what? It's my in my data. It's in my market database, sir. Your market database. So I didn't. I didn't like go online and fill out a form and request a call or anything like that, right? No, sir. I'm from National Debt Relief Center. We had a survey in your area. And we came to know that a lot of people having unsecured debt, and we are helping them to consolidate into one just minimum payment. Okay. So, uh, can I connect you call with my debt officer, despite your number is on federal state do not call list? Would that be okay oh, with you? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, just to ensure quality, this call is being recorded, and you will be contacted with my debt officer, despite your number is on any federal state do not call list, and do remember... Your consent is not required as a condition to purchase anything, which means there is no cost and no obligation, okay? Okay, are you are you transferring me now, or are they going to call me back? I am transferring you now, sir. Oh, okay. Is that yes to my question? Yes, okay, that's sir. fine. Please transfer uh, me. I, I have lots of questions to ask. <laughs> I'm giving what they I'm giving them what they're asking for. I'm giving them permission to transfer me. Yeah, and then I'm going to grill them and find out Ah, oh, well. What a waste of time. All that effort and then they just hang up. Chickens. Hey everybody and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.